I'd like now to invite his teammate and good friend, Anthony Rock, to the stage to say a few words about his mate, the newest member of the Hall of Fame, Wayne Schwass. Um, just to start with, I'm privileged and honoured to have this opportunity to share my thoughts on North Melbourne Football Club player number 788, Wayne Schwash, affectionately known as Swatter. My relationship and bond with Swatter started in 1986, amazingly now some 30 years ago. It was the first night of the under-19 pre-season trials just down the road from Arden Street in Kensington. The venue, JJ Holland Park. It was there that we were joined by another 120 youngsters, all hopeful of making the final cut for the season ahead. At the end of each week, we used to, or at least I would, duck and weave at the end of training, fearful of the obligatory tap on the shoulder to say thanks, but no thanks, we don't require you to come back next week. There was no doubt that Swatter had nothing to fear at all. He'd been handpicked from South Warrnambool by, then, by the then North Melbourne Talent Scouts headed by Greg Miller. It was just the following year in 1987 and coached by Dennis Pagan, he captained the North Melbourne under-19 under side to a premiership. He was such an exceptional talent in that year. He also won the Morris Medal for the best and fairest player in the competition. It was in 1988, wearing the jumper number 46, he later switched to his famous jumper, number two, formerly worn by John Holt, that he was to make his senior debut under the legendary coach, John Kennedy. He was later guided by coach Wayne Schimmelbush, who no doubt, had a great influence on his career. It wasn't until 1993 the next change in the guard occurred. We were both water skiing in Turumbri when we received a phone call to inform us both that Dennis Pagan would become our new senior coach, effectively, effective immediately. Our first practice match was against the Mighty Cats the following day. Dennis marched straight, straight up to both of us as we arrived in the rooms prior to the match, laying down the law and outlining his expectations moving forward. We both knew what this meant. Hard work, discipline and play your role. The rest, as they say, is history. Over the course of a 10-season, 184-game career with North, Swatter was undisputably and consistently one of that club's leading lights. During this period, he won the club champion award, the Sid Barker medal, twice, in 1994 and then again in the following year. In 1996, he was the, one of the best players afield in the grand final victory over the Sydney Swans. He was a Victorian state of origin representative on three occasions, made the All-Australian team in 99. So, if you had to define an ideal AFL player, then Swatter was and would still be considered the perfect prototype. He played with aggression, toughness and versatility. He also displayed great resilience, especially under difficult and trying personal circumstances. He was an elegant, purposeful left footer, but also highly skilled on his opposite side, who knew where the ball was and utilised it impeccably. Although possessing evasive skills of the highest order, he wasn't averse to mixing it when the occasion required. Who could forget the chin music dished out to Troy Luff in 96 grand final? Swatter, your induction into North Melbourne Club's Hall of Fame is recognition of your champion status. Not only are you a champion of the North Melbourne Football Club, 
You're a champion of Australian football. And more importantly, you're a champion of life. We understand the struggles that you've had to overcome, especially during your career, and I'm sure posted as well. To watch from afar the contribution you've made in creating awareness for mental health and suicide prevention is truly admirable. As founder of the Sunrise Foundation, your impact on many lives, especially those of young people, has been amazing. Although you've heard me, from me many times, I love you, Bubba Reggie, it's not often that you get to do so in such an open forum. Swat up. Know that many here love and respect you for what you've achieved both on and off the field. And I have experienced firsthand the support you have enjoyed from your father, Colin, his partner, Phyllis, your wife Rachel and children Indigo, Tamika and Kai. Also here to support you tonight is Harry Unglick and Robin Unglick. Their support has been watertight and I'm sure that they're all thrilled to be sharing this great honour with you tonight. Congratulations on your induction into the North Melbourne Hall of Fame. It's well deserved. Dwayne Scott.